today directors want verse 56 from Vilapa Kusumanja. So we are reading verse 56. O Sumuki, fair-faced girl, when will I like a vine of devotion on the strength of great arising fortune obtain the remnants of food that you spat out along with your gargling water and the water that has washed your lotus-like feet. With love, I shall enjoy it in so many ways along with your other loving friends. Oh, Sumuki, fair-faced girl, when will I like a vine of devotion on the strength of great arising fortune obtain the remnants of food that you spat out along with your gargling water and the water that has washed your lotus-like feet with love I shall enjoy it in so many ways along with your other loving friends. No. Shitulasi has massaged Swamini's lotus feet and Shirupa has massaged her hands. Swamini lies to sleep on a wonderful bed. When this delectable vision vanishes, Shiragunata weeps and laments, revealing his heartache to Swamini. Again, a revelation comes to him. He need not to endeavor for such visions. Bhakti Mrishta Chita 
Pritišu svajeva svatajeva spurtiešu. In hearts that are purified by devotion, these visions appear spontaneously. The Lila when it happening in hearts that are purified by devotion. Yeah, understand. Art. Purified by devotion. Devotion means love in action is devotion. With full of love, when my all action start moving to please and for caring to you, that is devotion. Love in action is devotion. Like a mother, Jasoda, is so much loving to his son, his all action for the Krishna. As a child, become devotion. Radhika's all love come from the action in the her action unconditional. That is devotion. So action in loving way is a devotion. This practice has to change. Means my action for my comforts is not a devotion. For my benefit, my comforts, what I do is personal benefit. When I behave in action to make happy to you, this action is a devotion. And when heart become pure with this practice, by listening, by dreaming, and by looking, it is a realization. Only by the one month meditation, I say in the Russian class, one month, only meditate one point, you will start dreaming that. Anything, material or spiritual. And three months you start dreaming, same thing. It will become in your vision that you can see it. So that love is action. Understand? 
यहां रखता है बेटा सुनो तुम करती हो मेरा ही सफाई करना अलग पहचान देना तो करो हमको जरूरी होता है नहीं दोगे तो हम नहीं करवा सके नो विथ प्योर हार्ट If you out from the influence of false ego, your heart will become pure. If you are influenced by false ego, mind will be polluted, senses will pollute. Is a kaliya? You know, na kaliya, past time, poisonous. All the senses will become poisonous because the false ego making game, and when the false ego goes, that heart become pure, senses become pure, mind become pure, and heart become pure. Please, is our inner practice. You have to watchful and careful with yourself. If I not balance myself, then we not come out from my religious practice. How I will enter in the spiritual practice? Is a religious practice to out from the gunas in purity. If you want to go to meet the super pure thing, you are not pure. How you can close to her? Huh? Right or not? Hmm. He not need to endeavor for such visions. Oh, endeavor! You don't need to endeavor for visa. Little loud sound is there. Mm. He not need to endeavor for such visions. Can you give one mic? Uh? Uh, to her. Yeah. In hearts that are purified by devotion, these visions appear spontaneously. Yeah. One minute, can you call this guy, Iron Man? Hmm. Yeah. The Leela is then the doer, not the Smarana Kari, the devotee who practices Smarana. And who is doer? You are doer or they are doer? Who is playing? They are doer. Radha Krishna is doer. You are viewer, viewing, watching. Okay. Okay. You are not a doer. You have to only to view it, and for that viewing. You need purity. 
you understand only watching and looking you go in theater and picture all you acting no 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 you are watching the actors who is doing and you are you are ah so nice so nice so you don't like to be a viewer you want to be a doer doer is by the bhakta viewer is the rag bhakti yeah and they do we watch them this is viewer and doer different बेटा उसको थोड़ा पीछे कर करो यहाँ पर बातचीत कर उसको हटा के पीछे ठोको ना ठीक है ना वट यू वॉन्ट टू बिकम व्यूअर आर डूअर थिंक बिकॉज टू मेनी फिलोसफी मेक यू टू डू थिंग I don't know, yar. You become viewer, viewer. Why you chant to view? Chanting make you to view. Be quiet and watch. it will come and it will go like this other flow will come other wave will come many many things and you will like it mahava is okay yes <laughs> we are viewer not doer right it says the the leela is the doer leela is doer they are hero and heroine hmm and uh, we are as hmm. a manjari viewer not a doer hmm. <laughs> we watch them the beauty of that past time hmm. govinda prem clear yes gurudev you explain it so nicely go to the heart <laughs> <laughs> one anandas baba ji book is a what is rasa darshana rasa darshana <laughs> rasa darshan that the mention of dharma artha kama moksha four purushartha four effort to do by the bhakti raga bhakti one purushartha to do prema purushartha प्रेम पुरुषार्थ राइट एंड आनंद दास बाबा जी से नो 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 नॉट ओनली फाइव सिक्स पुरुषार्थ सिक्स वन इज दैट दैट इज वॉट इज रसा दर्शन दर्शन व्यूअर बिकम व्यूअर always be conscious with pure heart to 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 view it so nice na <laughs> when the day will come in my life that it becomes so pure doing nothing and i am viewing in all circumstances what is happening to me
that is divine. Everything is rasa darsa. Because purity comes and everything becomes crystal clear, life becomes crystal clear. In hearts that are purified by devotion, mm. these visions appear spontaneously. Yeah. The Leela is then the doer, not the Smarana Kari, yeah. the devotee who practices Smarana. And slowly, then I can explain, repeat. Mm. In heart, in heart, when it becomes pure, Mm. When heart becomes pure, means my senses also become pure. My mind also becomes pure and is not influenced with the false ego. Then heart becomes pure. Then Prabhupada writes in 13, 14, 12th chapter, Bhagavad Gita, when mind is harmonized with the my consciousness, pure, that then my heart becomes pure. See Bhagavad Gita thirteen forty. Then purity comes. Before was mind was combined with my false ego. Now the mind is combined with my consciousness. Impurity. That is pure. Now there is no influence of false ego inside me. And we have to be very careful in our sadhana that is a false ego is a, like a Kaliya. Kaliya, you listen the past time of Kaliya? is a poison, and the Kaliya poison finishes when Krishna dance on the head of Kali. So if you want to, to come out the influence of the false ego, Krishna head, memory has to be always in head. He has to dance on Kali head. <laughs> you know. One day I say you, my lower senses are and upper senses. There are two place senses. Lower senses is Sudra. And upper senses is Brahmana. <laughs> so this is a very important thing, is realization come to me. Very difficult people think in material world to control lower senses. I say foolish. It's very easy to control lower senses. Because 
Sudra, if you slap, two slap, give her, slap them. Sudra, slapping means beating. And say, you have to walk on this way. This is your way. You will not go other way. This is the Sudra they share. You say, your place is toilet. He will go to toilet. You say, this, your place is your husband. He will go to husband. Your place is your wife. He will do that job. He's a Sudra. He has no intelligence here. Sudra is Sudra. So what is difficult to manage? The real management is Brahminas. Head, your eyes, your tongue, your hair, your mind, your postigo. These are very different. These, these are senses out of control. And all teaching you will see for these senses, Brahmana. If you teach to some preacher, you do this, you do this, he will never listen to you. <laughs> I say you, and of course. He say you are wrong, this way is a good. So this is the Brahmana. He need to take time to improve it. So here you have to put time to develop it. Lower senses, nothing to bother. You make bad to them. Only you have to give two slap and show the way. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you not show the way, that is your mistake. <laughs> you show the way of the restaurant. Morning something, evening something, tomorrow something, then he's, he's doing that way. You show the way, all will be set. Sudra has no mind to think. But they go in the influence of false ego, Kaliya, then. Before that, you balance it. And it can come when heart will become pure. Till we are in the false ego control, we also behave like this. Sorry to say Sudra, right? <laughs> Work for Sudra. <laughs> because there is poisonous. I go on. Sorry. I deviate, but it's an important thing to re remind and see. It's a very easy thing here. <clears throat> Thanks for all of you that you give me time to live in Vrindavan and meditate and realize many things. So I'm getting some realization, so I'm sharing you. How to make easy? Go on. In hearts that are purified by devotion. Ah, when the heart becomes pure, then devotion starts. Sorry to say, my dear. If heart is not pure, desire will never come for devotion. Sorry, what I will want to become vegan. <laughs> Excuse me. Devotion and vegan is the same different brother and sister, sister and brother, I don't know. 
but his different way of flying. <laughs> a different way of flying. My way of flying is a vegan, and your way of flying is devotion. Understand? Not feel that I don't uh, disagree. We can, when I was flying in airport, I also say I'm a vegan. But for that airport time, no, no, air, air, air plane, not every time. But uh, I use this word for there. They will understand clearly. <laughs> not to practice in my life. I never do this. I like to serve Radha Mohan what, how he likes. And if I cannot do, my Gopinath do it. A <laughs> more better than me. I'm proud of him. You all have to be proud of him. Gopinath is the great, my successor. He will be my chair, he will get. I will give all my chair and japa mala to Gopinath. So I empower him for that. Because he knows. Devotion, his heart is pure. Everybody has a different, different job. The many job is here. Radha Mohan create many job for everyone. But Gopinath, you talk with him, share with him, invite like me to him and he will do that job. I will sit in his heart and do that. <coughs> and like you see Jananda, how big thing he is doing. Doing or not? Pishori, your Jananda is doing or not? Yeah, so? So similarly, Europe will take care by Gopinath. You know? Other country where he likes to go. Oh, sorry. It's out of track. But it comes to my heart. I share with you. Yeah. In hearts that are purified by devotion. Ah, that I see him. Honestly, I say you, so I say you. I see him, Jananda. He is pure. Sometimes. I gave you an example. I say to Jananda, do this. Yes, yes, yes. And he do. He don't like, but he do, because I like. And then I say to him, why you do this? Change this. He say, yes, yes, yes. And he change also. He's so great. I cannot, I take many time to him. He can change, he can do anything. What I, if I do mistake, he change, yes, 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 yes. Never, never deny it. Like uh, once, two body, one soul.
great, great after In my small life, your love, your mercy, how much I receive my life change, I can say you. Oh, I'm sorry. I doubt what. In hearts that are purified by devotion. It is a heart bring you there. Heart when the purify by devotion. Please do this. If you want to come out of the clutch of false ego, false uh, ego, this ego is a false. Uh, believe this. It keep, keep distance to us. For nothing. And why not he want to leave us? Because he want to be a boss to control the senses, body and mind. And to forget our feelings and so on. Right, Chakshu? Yeah. Please, my realization, I feel it. I realize it. I'm honest with you. Why I change my clothes, you know. That time also I have a false ego, that I am a sannyasi. My work to preach, I have so many and this and that. I said, no, it's a false ego. Mahaprabhu himself say, I am not sannyasi. I am not Grahastha, not this, nothing. I am only Radha Das. I want to be Radha Das. That's it. No wish. We all are family for one goal. So sharing and helping like a brother and sister is our responsibility. We have to do it. Go on. In heart. Again, it's he say in a heart. Mm -hmm. Please stop this one. Not say heart. Then I cannot go out from that. Go on. That are purified oh. by devotion. Wow. Imagine this. It cannot be purified. Without devotion, it cannot be purified by without chanting. It cannot. So why chanting? Chanting is a way of beginning of devotion. Beginning. Like I was young. 
and I fall in love with someone and it's very difficult to see. That boy, what I can do, only I have to remember that name, to meet with that man. Because how I can remember my love. The name is the way to bring to the person. You believe me? Name is the way to bring the person. Maybe you don't know meaning of name, that is a different issue. But this name is a way to bring it to the person. Please understand this. Name is the way to bring that person in your front. Is it telepathic? Yes, yeah? telepathic. You say thousand times, one time with pure heart will come, this telepathic will reach there. I will search. You have to search me. I am crying for you. You will not search me. My somni is not like that. You cry. If and he she will not come to you. I don't know about Krishna, but I know about my Swami, she will catch you. I know when I was a small baby, when I cry, my mother come and catch me and give the breast in my mouth. If I do any mistake, she don't bother for that. She never takes any mistakes. In our sadhak deha, Swamini is like my mother. And my, when I go in Siddha deha, she become, we become the shadow of her. become similar feeling like a shadow, means similar feeling like her. That is Siddha there. But pure heart you can bring there. These visions appear. This vision? Appear. Appear. I not afford for that. It appears. Believe me, it appears. This is navigation, you know. This is the navigation. What is navigator work? <laughs> Navigate right way. And we have to move navigation way of navigation. This is the job of navigator. Understand? Navigator is not a goal. Somni is my goal. Navigation. 
how to move and to see and follow not ra- wrong way that is the job of navigation and when navigator say sorry you turn wrong right way is the wrong you have to turn back and go left again then no become angry to navigator you have to do it like that you cannot fight with navigator then things will not work right way try to improve to move on navigates navigator guidelines it will work very faster and navigator not only to reach the goal after go- reaching goal who how to move is also navigator job when i reach to the goal then how to move is also navigator is necessary there right or not understand Buddha is clear or not? Navigator job never finish. Crystal clear, Guru Dev. I see it, but I feel it. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Gaurvani? Oh, you are translating. Sorry. No, no. I am not translating. what yeah. guru dev no what we are discussing you want to add something well because we are still at the point of the pure heart <laughs> and you are so fascinated from the pure heart <laughs> it's so well, lovely um the pure heart means because the ego is sitting in the heart no ego uh, is not sitting in the heart ego uh, is sitting in the near to the mind when when it's the real ego then it's then it's uh, it's it's the form of the soul and it's it's there no, right or not ego ego is a kaliya false ego yes the false I'm ego i'm talking about the false ego it sits near to the mind and he control the mind to become boss of this identification of my material body and my senses and dance like this false ego is a yes, false the- the false ego is sitting in uh, near to the mind and krishna is dancing on it so no, then krishna dance when the krishna dance in kaliya then the poison go out yes means then, then false ego means kaliya become quiet and he start praying to krishna i will never disturb and never not kill me in the wife say not kill her him because you build it well you send him so he will stay there the moment moment you forget thinking krishna he starting in throwing the false poison that is our 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 condition then we start thinking on the senses and mind and body and identifying my false things and the pure heart means this that the mind become combination combined with the mind combined with the my consciousness 13 14 and then it become developing purity with the my soul the mind is 
is working for the chitta vritti, not in mano vritti. This is the point, the chitta vritti, the pure. Yeah, chitta vritti means the vritti means circle, like we see in the green circle come. That one point is this, one point is your, one point is there. So this is the circle we create when we talk green light come. This circle, how many persons are there, how many things are there identifying in this body that are there, they are the circle. And every day we create new circles also is a manovirti circle. But the chitta vritti circle is the point where the soul and the pure heart is living. That's a, that's a chitta vritti. When this will be as high fixed, then other circle will not influence that. That is purity of the heart. All become secondary or no meaning. Ro read more. Understand, Kriya? The Leela hmm. is then the doer, not the Smaranakari. Hmm. Is Maran Kari means the viewer is not to us. Viewer is not doer. Doer is some as hero and heroines are doer. When you go to the movie, what you do? You like to support someone. And you start following. In Indian v picture, you see one virian is there. Hero, heroine and virian. Three are sure there. So virians is to disturb the heroine. <laughs> so you start, you cannot do. But morally, you support the heroine, not to the hero. You don't, you cannot do anything because it's a film, but you want to support, you want to meditate, you want to see that. That the majority do. <laughs> So that's all. This is Manjari Bhav. I like heroine and I want to follow, to support her, to protect her, to care that. But I cannot do, but I'm supporting, I caring. <laughs> this is the We are nature. I do like this. Sometimes I cry also. Some pain happened to that. Everybody becomes nervous. Why is crying? It's a pain. But I say it's a reality for me. <laughs> I do what I can do. I cannot feel the pain of that. So nobody take me the film to show. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That time I don't know why this is happening to me. But now when I list read the book of Ananda Bhavadi, then I understand why is happening to me. Thank mm -hmm. you.
This free flow of leelas cannot take place in a mind that is possessed by the material mold. You see. What? Kriya, that nobody can do for you. Guide, navigation can happen, but every living being has to work on with myself. I have to work on myself. You have to work on yourself. No other can help you because it's an inner business. Inner business, you what? But how fast you practice, you grow. How much take time? It takes late, more late. That is Raga Bhakti. By the Bhakti, listen and close. You go out, no meaning to remember that. But Raga Bhakti, what you listen, that has to be practiced to be down in our life. Realization. That is Raga Bhakti. Go on. <laughs> the modes of darkness, Tamaguna and passion, Rajaguna, and even that of goodness, Sattvaguna, will not allow Smarana to take place. You see? Satoguna will not allow you. Rajoguna, Tamoguna, and Satoguna means is a condition. We have to go out of the condition. One day I was asking to Gurudev, Gurudev, I said to Gurudev, I want to do some charitable things. This, that, this. I want to serve you this and that and this. This is a very good thing. But it is a sadhakarma. I said, what is sadhakarma? It's a good work. There is sadha karma, asadha karma. One is a good work, one is a bad work. If you do the bad work, you have to... You have to get the punishment. If you do the good work, you have to get the reward of that. So again, you have to take life to take the good work, reward. Then what to do, Gurudev? He said, you have to go out from the gunas. My Gurudev said, out of the gunas. I said, what is that? Panchampur Sartre. What is Panchampur Sartha? Prema Bhakti. It's a Panchampur Sartha. Dharma, Artha, Kama, Moksha. And fifth, a fourth, is Prema Purusharth.
out of guna you can do. In guna is not possible to do. Right? So the modes of Tamu Rajo and Sattva Guna mm. will not allow Smarana to take place, but devotion. Four also Tamu Raja Sattva Guna, four Guna, Dharma Artha Kava Mukta. This will not allow to enter in a Smarana. Smarana. Thinking even, realizing is far, dreaming and realization, difficult for us. Oh, Suniti, very good. Yeah. But devotion will gradually carry the devotee's heart and mind beyond these physical qualities, yeah. psychic qualities. Hmm. What quality? Psychic. Is it psychic? It's a mental concoction. Mental concoction. <laughs> quality is a psychic quality. <laughs> My God, useless waste the time for these psychic qualities. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe, right? Okay. Devotion liberates the soul. Wow. From the knot of ahankara, uh, false ego. Devotion liberate to the soul from false ego. Mm. Because for soul has no, no effect of false ego. But I can see soul because I become free, liberate from the false ego. Till I am in the false ego, I cannot relate with myself. It's not surprising. I realize these days they give me the treatment and they bind me clothes. One they bind with the rope cloth. I just open like it's so big quantity. Then they bind all my body with the plastic and then they bind me with the uh, blanket. And you imagine, I cannot breathe, I cannot see it, I cannot bring my hand for eating even, I cannot drink. Uh, when I start five, seven days last week, I was so flat that I cannot open my eyes. Toxin was full. And slowly when the toxin goes out, then I can share something. But what I want to say, this layer when they bind it, then I feel how many layers we bind myself 
and we are living in that binding layer. Three layers make me so much problem. And when, how many layers we have binded with my senses, so many senses is also binding. My mind, my body, my false ego, this all are binded on me. Without mercy, without a Guru Kripa, who will open my layers? You know, doctor bind me and every day Kishori open. Her name is a Kishori, mm. and she opened me. Then I say, wow, only the Kishori can open our <laughs> when we move for Kishori. One today, my Raghunath opened my layers. I said, oh, this <laughs> Guru, Raghunath Das Goswami can open my layers. This bondage, what we have blocked myself, it only can open by the Mahajans. Oh, with the Kishori help, their associate can open us. This feeling come to me, and I was full of tears when it's happening to me. Devotion liberates the soul from the knot of a hunger, uh -huh. false ego, uh -huh. and fills it with the identification of I am God's servant. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Shima Bhagavat simply by being devoted to the lotus feet of the Lord the saints are liberated from the bondage of fruitive reactions unlike the empty headed practitioners of jnana and yoga that artificially try to control their senses. Explain to somebody. Can you explain, Sudhniti? Please. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Yeah. So when we become devoted to the divine couple, to Srimati, Swami. No, 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 this line. Read it. Simply by being devoted to the lotus feet of the Lord, the saints are liberated from the bondage of fruit reactions, mm -hmm. unlike the empty headed practitioners of jnana and yoga that artificially try to control their senses. So the controlling of the senses is not coming by jnana and by yoga, but by devotion to the Lord. This is what the sentence says. Jnana and yoga it's called here empty-headed practition, means uh, there's no love, there's no devotion that will help us to come really in control of the senses. But by devotion, by selfless devotion, there is a liberation of the bondage of fruitive uh, activities and the reactions. Like you were saying just before, Woody, the 
gunas, how to overcome the gunas is not by doing it, but by becoming a prema bhakta or going in, in the bhakti path. Like we cannot come out of this dhamma atta, kama moksha, because we are always bound by our activities. Like your Gurudev told you, Gurudev, you said this, how to, how to come out of this good activities or bad activities. It's only by divine love and devotion that is selfless and only for the pleasure of the Lord and our Swami and of course the Bhaktas also. More I cannot say, could you? Yeah. Very good. Go on. Therefore, worship Vasudeva, who is very kind to the surrendered souls. The hearts and minds of the devotees <coughs> are stolen by the sweetness of devotional life. It cannot be forgotten anymore. Even if they would try it. Anyone who has experienced this will understand it. Maya makes the mind very coarse. But when the mind remains at the lotus feet of the Lord, we can understand how pure, tender and innocent the mind actually is. Bhagavatam, a purified soul never leaves the lotus feet of Krishna. Unfortunately, a person like me is exactly in the opposite position. Although I want to forget about material life, I cannot forget it. Devotional love alone can purify the heart. How tender is the heart of someone who practices Manjaripa. How highly sweet are their hearts. Srila Narutam Das Thakura has sung Radha Krishna Sevana Ekanta Koriyaman Charana Kamala Boli Yao Donhara Nama Guna Shuni Bhakta Mukhe Puni Puni Parama Ananda Sukha Pa Fix your mind completely on the service of the lotus feet of Radha and Mohana. Constantly hear of their attributes from the mouths of the devotees and you will reach the pinnacle of bliss. My eyes want to see the golden form 
of Rai and are crying out of this desire. Mohana's very enchanting body shines in the world like a dripping rain cloud. All around, the Sakis are desiring their service. And when they get that service, they are most blissful. Narutama says, my mind and body are always absorbed in this rasa. When you fall in an ocean of nectar, you become immortal and nectarian. By the special mercy of Sriman Mahaprabhu, Srila Raguna Das similarly has become filled with prema by falling in the ocean of service to Shiradika, who is sacred love personified. He is fully absorbed in his identification as Rana's maid servant. A vision comes to him. Swamini is sleeping. Now the Kinkaris take their meal of remnants left by Swamini before she went to sleep. How fortunate they are. They can eat her leftover food and bitter leaves. Drink the water with which she has flushed her mouth and the water with which they have washed her lotus feet. This fortune is even far away from the Sakis. While Swamini was eating, she spat some food out on a plate as if she did not like the taste of it. She knows the desire on her maidservant's mind. So in this way, she grants them opportunities to enjoy her leftover food. How strong is her feeling of mindness for her maid servants? How tasty the food has become. 
after having been in her mouth. The maid servants know this. And that is why Tulasi calls her Sumuki, fair faced girl. It is as if love has met in one place. has taken the form of a kinkari and is eating a share of this wonderful nectar. The kinkaris serve Swamini Achaman water for flushing the mouth. And Swamini spits that water into a golden spittoon. After Swamini has gone to sleep, the maid servants jokingly feed each other. They joyfully serve each other the nectarian remnants of Shiradika's meal. Lovingly quarreling with each other for some time. The aspirant should also always get a particle of this prashad in his smile. The identification of a kinkabi is required. Otherwise, the sweetness of this mood cannot be experienced. How intoxicated I am with this temporary material body. Bodily consciousness is a mischief that takes the mind in the wrong direction. Therefore, the sadhaka should vow this. Anakatha na bolilo, anakatha na shunilo. Sakale koribo paramata, Pratana koribo sada, Lalasa abishta katha, Ihavina sakali anartha, Rema bhakti chandrika. I will not speak anything else or hear anything else. I will live a completely spiritual life. I will always pray and yearn for topics of my Ishtadev Without this, everything is simply mischief. The devotee should cry with his heart 
for some experience. How unfortunate I am that I have learned about the highest thing, but I cannot take to it. Without surrender, this path cannot be attained. So some explain the word Utkirna Bhubhuja in the text to mean chewed bitter leaves. Swamini knows so many ways to give her mercy, Prashad, to her maidservants. Srila Rupa Goswami wrote in Utkali Kavalodi. Shirupa Goswami has arranged for the youthful couple to meet in a kunja. So they feel they should reward her somehow. Mohana calls Swami in his face and pushes his chewed beaver leaves from his mouth into her mouth. Swamini then makes a dirty face as if she wants to say, Yuck, do I have to chew the remnants of this debauchee? whose mouth kisses so many other girls. She looks in Rupa Manjari's direction and spits the chewed beta leaves out on a plate. In this way, the maid servants are also blessed with Swamini's chewed food or spice remnants. Shirupa Manjari prays. When will I have ghost pimples of ecstasy? on my small body when you give me these remnants in a very lonely place the aspirant should also relish Swamini's loving compassion towards him when he remembers these transcendental <coughs> customs his meditation has taken solid form so I'm in his remembrance is most blissful. Everything in this world is giving trouble and pain, and the devotee anxiously prays, don't keep me in this material world anymore. 
Make me a maid servant of your lotus feet. Tuya Pada Padma Karu Anuchari. How long will I have to stay in this world while I am winding up my material existence? The light that emanates from Swamini's lotus feet will make me forget Maya. The Dasi washes Swamini's mouth with water from a golden bowl. Shimati spits her mouth water back into the golden bowl. And then she says, Wash my feet. There is a special plate for catching her foot water also. Tulasi introduces herself by saying, I am a vine of devotion for you. And this vine will grow higher and higher and get blooming flowers and fruits of love for you. As long as I sprinkle it with the water with which you have flushed your mouth and which has washed your lotus-like feet. Other than this nectar, I will not accept anything. O oh, fair-faced girl, this is my prayer. When will fortune turn my way in blissful Vrindavan so that I can relish your chewed beetle nuts that are the essence of nectar together with my girlfriends your garden water that has the power to bestow Krishna Bhakti will shower my vine of devotion and the nectarian water that washed your lotus feet will cause the seed of my prema to sprout. It's the end of verse 56. Sirad. So bitter. Yeah. Thank you.
very nice. So beautiful. Thank you, Rasmai. See, his name is Rasmai. And her job is full of rasa. Thank you, Christian devotee. You give me the gift of Rasmai. Yeah. I'm so fortunate. And we all are fortunate that we are listening. Thank you. Radha Radha Guru Dev. Yeah. May I ask a question? Yeah. So the mantra is self to Radhika, but in this verse we heard we heard that Radhika awards them with her prashad. Can you say more about that? Radhika when they give mercy to develop more faster bhakti, devotion, purity, she gave mercy through prashad. Mercy is a prashad. You know, you remember my life, Gurudev, one day he gave his prashad to me. I went in six months in ecstasy of trance. <clears throat> I forget my bodily consciousness. When Guru Dev Prashad worked in my life six months, and when I will feel this and take the Prashad of Radhika <laughs> with that power, what will happen? Guru Dev is the Radhika Dasi, it happens to me. And when somebody lucky person gets the the circumstances in his life to take that with uh, through the Krishna and see spit for the majority. She wash fresh his mouth that what is going to happen, my dear. Without doing in no way in the in the moment you r release from all the bondage, <laughs> my God, Gurudev only release me. His prasad release. What about Swami Prasad? Yeah, right. Is smart. <laughs> yeah. Very smart, can I? Is the pure devotee of Radha. He looks small, but he is very senior in the service. Thank you. Yeah. His brother also, Balram, sit and discuss with something how depths they have. High surprise. One time I am discussing with Jaiv Dharma. I was very serious in Jaiv Dharma. Then he comes to me after 10 days. Gurudev, to these days I see very much you are serious in Jaiv Dharma. Nathik, Nitya Namathik Dharma. Why you are so serious?
Bhagavad Gita is not a Jaya Dharma. I say, how say me? He say, Krishna, Arjuna don't want to fight battle and he fight. Why he fight? He know following Jaya Dharma. I said, wow, Balram, I impress him so much. What I cannot see, he opened my vision to see that. Wow, I said, Balram, my dear, he opened me to understand. I can so he is also here someplace. Balram? Balram? Not here? Okay. But you will see next days. You can embrace his brother. <laughs> yeah, I embrace you also and two brother also. <coughs> you can stand. Thank you. Every day, Kishori open my blockage. Every day. I say, Kishori, I have no clothes. He say, you are my teddy bear. I can open you. And he opened my blockage. I mean, really teddy bear of Kishori. <laughs> Radhe, thank you.